Hello my friends and welcome back. Today inshallah we are going to continue our chemistry session. We already studied in the previous lesson the heat change accompanied with physical change and we talk about standard heat of solution and standard heat of dilution. Today inshallah we are going to continue in lesson 2 and lesson 2 is going to talk about the heat change accompanied with chemical changes or the heat change accompanied with any type of chemical reaction. We have different forms of heat change accompanied with different forms of chemical reaction. But today, inshallah, we are going to talk about two forms of heat changes accompanied or came with the chemical reaction. The first type is a standard heat of combustion, while the second type is standard heat of formation. But let's first start with the standard heat of combustion. And in order to understand standard heat of combustion, we need first to understand the meaning of combustion. And when I say combustion, or between brackets, burning, I mean any substance which reacts with excess amount of oxygen to burn completely or to combust completely. And when I say the word completely, I mean we should have excess or enough or sufficient amount of oxygen in order to burn this substance which is element or a compound with oxygen. So, the heat of combustion means the quantity of heat which is released when any substance combusts completely or burn completely in an excess amount of oxygen. And this combustion reaction, of course, should be exothermic reaction and it should have a negative sign. Why? because it releases large amount of energy. This energy is in the form of heat energy and light energy. But today our concern is going to be the heat energy which is released from this type of reaction. <coughs> in any combustion reaction, any combustion reaction, the result always those three products which are carbon dioxide, water, and heat. Those three products are produced from combustion of any substance or any elements. And to talk about the standard heat of combustion, we already know what is meant the heat of combustion. The heat of combustion, again, is a quantity of heat which is released when any substance or any element combusts completely with excess amount of oxygen. But what about the standard heat of combustion? The standard heat of combustion, when this combustion occurred under standard condition, when this combustion occurred under or take place under all the standard condition we know. So one mole of the substance combusts in normal atmospheric pressure and at normal temperature, which is 25 degree. And we refer to it as delta H C note. Delta HC note is a standard heat of combustion. So now let's conclude what we already said. We talked about the standard heat of combustion, and we know that combustion is a sequence of exothermic reactions between matter and oxygen. And when I say matter, I mean elements or a compound or any molecules. Complete combustion of substance releases a great amount of energy in the form of heat and light. This released energy is known as the heat of combustion, or delta HC. While the standard heat of combustion, delta HC note, is the amount of energy released from complete combustion of just one mole of a substance under the standard condition. Now we are going to, to talk about two examples for the heat of combustion. The first example is the burning of butyl gas. What is a butyl gas? A butyl gas is a natural gas we use at home, which is mixture of butane, C4H10, and propane, C3H8, in oxygen of air, or in atmospheric oxygen. So I mean excess amount of oxygen. 
It releases a great amount of energy which is used at cooking and home, in some industries and in many fields of our life. Let's see the chemical equation of this burning. When burning butane gas or propane gas with excess amount of oxygen, it produces three moles of carbon dioxide gas, four moles of water, and finally it releases large amount of heat. And when we say releases heat, we mean that this reaction is going to be an exothermic reaction and its sign is going to be a negative sign. Another very important example for the combustion reaction is the respiration. Of course, we all know that we take oxygen during respiration in order to burn the glucose inside our cells. This equation or this chemical reaction is another type of combustion reaction which is occur inside our living cell in order to produce large amount of heat energy which can be used in many forms of activities by the body. And the equation for this form of the reaction is as the following. C6H12O6, which is the glucose substance which is found inside the living cell, which burn inside with excess amount of oxygen which is taken or absorbed during respiration to produce six mole of carbon dioxide and six mole of water and releases large amounts of heat energy. And also this type of chemical reaction is an ectothermic reaction because it releases large amount of heat energy. Now let's have example of what we said. If the heat compassion of one mole of ethanol C2H5OH is minus 1367 kilojoule per mole, write the thermochemical equation, calculate the energy released from compassion of 100 gram of ethanol when C equal 12, H equal 1, and O equal 16. Let's start first by writing down the balanced thermochemical equation. Let's start first by writing the equation. The equation is going to be the ethanol C2H5OH with excess amount of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. Let's first balance this equation. Of course, this equation is not balanced. In order to balance this equation, we will first see how many carbon atoms so we need to add two here and three here and three here now this is the balanced equation but is this enough of course not because in thermochemical equation we need to write the form the state of the substance so the ethanol is a liquid oxygen is gas carbon dioxide is gas finally water is liquid so this is the first step of our answer is to write the thermochemical equation or the balanced thermochemical equation the balance first and then to write the state of the substance and of course the amount of it change in heat. The second step is to calculate the molar mass of ethanol. The ethanol composed of two atoms of carbon, two times twelve, five atoms of hydrogen, five times one, one atom of oxygen, sixteen, and one atom of hydrogen, one, so the result will be forty six gram per mole. The third step is to calculate the number of moles in 100 gram of ethanol. So we are going to divide 100 grams over 46 grams, which is the mass of one mole. So it produced 2.17 mole of ethanol. So the equation is going to apply for 2.17 mole of ethanol. Finally, we are going to calculate the energy released from this combustion reaction by the equation 
standard heat of compression equal the quantity of heat under standard pressure over the number of moles so what we need here we need to calculate the quantity of heat released so the quantity of heat released will be equals standard heat of compression multiplying by number of moles which is equal 1367 times the number of moles we already calculated 2.17 moles in 100 gram of ethanol and the answer will be 2966.39 kilojoules thank you